So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. Um, guys, I want to make this video. I've made a video like this before, but I want to make it again because obviously I've had since then, since I made it, I've had a lot of new subscribers to my channel. But a lot of you say to me all the time, you make a lot of Amir Khan videos. He's no longer relevant in boxing and you come out with a lot of stuff about Amir Khan. You come out with a lot of things about Amir Khan and I agree, he's no longer the fighter he was back in the day. Um, at his prime was very good fighter but the reason why I do a lot of videos about him and the reason why I'm very defensive about him and I'm being honest I'm just telling you what it is because if it wasn't for him I probably wouldn't have this channel and I probably wouldn't be a boxing fan you guys don't know right that I never used to watch I got into boxing because of Amir Khan's career started following him used to watch his fights never used to be interested i'm being honest with you now i watch every single boxing fight that's on i'm talking from your small york hall shows to every show in america to all the big fights around the world because of him if it wasn't for him i probably wouldn't be a boxing fan i probably wouldn't watch all these big fights all these small fights that i watch i stay up for a new ways fights. I stay up for um, Robert Hellenius v Kanaki. You know, I watch not just the main fights, but all the undercard fights. I've become such a big boxing fan, and that is a lot down to him. Because if he, if he, did, if there was no Amir Khan, I probably wouldn't watch boxing. I probably wouldn't have got into boxing. So when you guys say, "Oh, you're very defensive," or "He's he's not that like." I feel like I'm, I get very emotionally attached. So sometimes I, when, I, when you guys are commenting in the comment section, I see your comments and I attack back or I bite back to some of you because I get very defensive because like I said, I, I view him as like an inspiration a guy that's got me into boxing, a guy at a time where British Pakistanis weren't seen in good light. And he came along and changed that, became a massive star became, in my opinion, the first really big British Asian star in the UK, you know, um, and he came at a time where there was a lot of uncertainty, a lot going on, um, and he came, he came along and he, he gave people a different, different perception, listen, I, listen, you can have your opinion about him, I can't change, some of you don't like him, fair enough, but you can't enforce your opinion on me about him. Do you understand? So if you don't like him, that's fair enough. You can have your opinion. But don't try to enforce your opinion about him onto me. Because, like I said, I have a strong connection towards him. So irrespective of what you say, it's not going to make a difference to me. Because he's had a massive impact on me. Like I said, if someone gets you in to a sport when you weren't really into like I got into boxing about 2010 2008 around the time he was coming up and starting to be blow out a little bit right I probably would if, it, if he didn't come along I probably wouldn't be a boxing fan so this is why I'm so emotionally attached to him and I get very protective and defensive um, but I listen, I, everyone's entitled to their opinion. It's a free world. You guys can say what you want about him. I don't, just because I, I have my opinions about him doesn't mean you not entitled to yours. You can think he's not good or you can think he's got a, not a good chin, whatever you guys want to think. But I, I'll always have my pr opinion about him, always be defensive about him because I'm always, like I said, he's somebody that for me has inspired me. Now, you may not look at him the way I look at him, but I just, all I say is respect what I feel about him you know what i mean like if you are entitled to your opinion and you think he's no good i'm entitled to my opinion and think he's good right so i just feel like i, ju I just feel like sometimes a lot of, a lot of you guys give him a lot of unnecessary stick you know every at most a lot of celebrities do a lot of crazy things you know he's not the only one I, he's not the only one that's done bad things as a celebrity you know he's done a lot of good things i feel like his good outweighs his bad you know, but you can always bring up someone's bad and make them look bad, can't you? But let's talk about some of the good stuff that he does as well. You know, so like I said, I just respect that. That Listen, he's somebody that's inspired me, that got me into the sport. You know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be 
into boxing, I wouldn't have this channel. So, at the end of the day, I have a lot of respect for him. I think he's, I think he's done great, not just in the ring, but outside of the ring. You know, I think that's the most important: doing things outside the ring, inspiring a lot of people. He's inspired a lot of people. Believe me, you know, and that's why he's got a lot of fans as well. He's got a lot of haters, but usually when you're popular, you have a lot of haters and you have a lot of fans. But that's just my little video uh, to the new subscribers that probably think, why does he make a lot of calm videos? That That's why. Um, but leave your thoughts, guys. Leave your thoughts and I'll happily respond. Guys, make sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.